Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Blackie and today we're going to be talking in the ground pounder series. We're going to take a little bit of a left turn. Many of you and I have, have I been conversing back and forth about the ground pounder series, especially since I've started posting again in it. And several of them said, Blackie, you've mentioned certain things about your hammocks, that you went from ground pounding to hammocks. Can you throw a little of that in? So, okay, for a little bit of spice, we're going to throw in a little bit of a hammock. Now, originally, I had a mesh hammock. And this is that hammock. This is simply nylon mesh material, a net, a nylon net that opened up. Now, these popped up right after Vietnam, in fact, during Vietnam. And what it was is this netting was designed to go over the cargo on a pallet when they did an airdrop. And guys on the ground, when you'd get there, instead of just cutting the net to pieces with their knife, they would save it and put a, uh, either run paracord through the end of it, gathering up the two ends, or take a carabiner and lock into each end and make a mesh hammock out of it. Because it was small, it weighs nothing, and it would fit into the cargo pocket in their pants and not encumber them. And yet, where you had an opportunity to stop and sit, you could pull this out real quick, hook two contact points, and sit down and have a seat to get you up out of the mud and the ants and the bugs and everything else. And so I kind of took that to heart after my ground pounding because it was so much of the bugs and everything. And I live in an area where we have fire ants. And fire ants like to swarm over you and then all attack at the same time. So you're asleep, you don't know nothing about it, and suddenly you got 30 of them biting you at one time. So yeah, I, I had all that fun I ever wanted to do. So I very quickly, from my ground pounding sleeping on the ground, I learned to move up into the air and sleep in a hammock. But in our modern day, we're talking also about how to create a underquilt, and that's what we're going to deal with now. An underquilt is simply a layer of insulation you put underneath the hammock. And we're going to be using a Wooby poncho liner for us old silver wolves because Wooby was a later name. We always just called them poncho liners. But depending on where you're at, it may be hot during the summer days, but it may drop down at night into the 50s or 60s and therefore you need a little something to keep you warm at night down here in my beloved south it, it, this morning at 6 a.m. it was 82 degrees with uh, 81 percent humidity yeah I wouldn't need a whole lot but therefore to give me some sort of insulation underneath me to trap and keep a little bit of warmth under me so I don't wake up cold during the night we're going to take a poncho liner and we're going to open it up so that we have the ties along the top edge. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the center tie in my hand and I'm going to take the other two side ties. And I've already taken the tie and I put a knot in it that made a loop. Okay. I'm now going to go through that loop with both the ties from the side, but going in opposite directions. So the one on this side, I went through that way. The one from the other side, I'm going the opposite way. All right, now I'm going to take them, and that's going to form a pocket right here. Okay, so you got this pulled, that pulled. I'm going to take those two ends, see now it's the three ends there, so it's folded in half basically toward the middle. Here's the seam. I'm going to take this end, fold this way, that end, fold that way, and I'm going to gather up all of this right here with these ties. I'm going to fold it over. I'm going to take these ties and come around to this side. I'm going to simply do a quick knot. Now what this is going to do is gather it this in. So I'm not going to modify this, this uh, Wooby permanently. I'm just using it for tonight, so to speak. Alright, now that I have gathered that up, it has made, when I open it up, a pocket right here, if you can see. 
Right, get my ends. Ah, oh, there it is. All right, there's the pocket. See how it's now like a sleeping bag top? This is going to go with my head. I'm going to come up here. Let me adjust the camera, make sure you can see all of it. I'm going to come up here to the top end where my head is. I'm going to take that other piece of tie, and I'm going to tie it to the actual hammock. Like that. Now I'm going to take those two sides, I'm going to walk down it as I put the hammock in it, so to speak. When I get down here to this end, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that bottom tie, I'm going to come up, and I'm going to take the tie from the other side, come over the top, and I'm going to loosely tie those together just like this. So it kind of bridges over the top. And as you can see, that ain't going to hold a lot of heat now, is it? So we're going to need to run a line from here to that end. So I'm going to take my separate piece of line. And I'm going to start down here at the foot, and I'm going to run back to it. Now this is where it requires just a little bit of finesse, because how much tension to put on it. I'm going to hook right there, simple knot, nothing fancy, and I'm going to pull it up right about like that. I'm going to sag down in this, remember, so I want to make sure that this is kind of flexible. Make sure I tie it to the middle, not to one side or it'll pull uneven. There we go. I'm going to get it, come up here about this, I'm going to go, and I'm going to hook it to this end. Just like this. A couple of half hitches will work. Now, when I go to get into it, the hammock is going to sag down in between the two poncho lines. What I then have to determine is, is it tight enough? I want it pulled up against me. See? Now I may, notice this bottom end is open. I may want to grab that bottom end and pull it up to balance it out. But right now I've got it this way. And this is going to make this coming over the top. So I'm going to have to stick my feet underneath it. So you can do that pretty easy. Take the edge of the wooby, grab the edge of the hammock, grip them together. And then push down and get in. Alright, once you're in it, spread it out. Lay down. Now, feeling underneath, it's up against me. I'm able to pull it. Remember I pulled the bottom edge up, so now I got an edge I can actually pull over the top for a little bit of warmth on top. But as I lay here, it's against me all the way around. And as I said, I can grab the extra edge and pull over the top and completely cover me up for a little bit of warmth at night. Or I can pull it over and tuck it underneath on the inside like that to hold me. Either one will work. Simple and easy. Now, by taking the poncho liner and doing this, I have added a layer of warmth that, that I may need, okay? If I had another layer on top of me, and typically what I would carry in the summertime is a sheet that's actually a old um, sleeping bag liner that I cut to act like this to go on top of me. So you see how I gathered the foot of it originally to go up there at the head. I would have put that on top going to my feet and put my feet in that hole and just draped the poncho liner down around me. 
By this way, I have wrapped the poncho liner underneath me. And if I, when I get cool during the night, I can simply take this side and pull it up over me. And to some degree, a little bit the other side. So I can completely enclose myself in this for a little bit of warmth during the summer. And all it's going to take is a small little travel hammock and a poncho liner. That's it. Now, the getting in and out. Remembering that that line is across down there. You sit down, you roll yourself in, and then you slide your feet underneath. Don't worry, it ain't going to be against your feet. It's actually hanging up here because the hammock stretches out, remember. So there's a gap like that. My legs easily fit underneath it without any problem, and I can go in and out. Just remember it when you go get out in the middle of the night, draw your leg up, and then go over the side because if you try to go straight over, you're going to hit that line. It'll take you about once or twice to figure out, train your feet how to do it. But it's a simple, easy way to add a little bit of warmth without a whole lot of weight on some cool nights in the summer. Hope you've enjoyed this, guys. If you have, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And leave any questions or comments down there below, and I'll be glad to answer them. Till next time, guys, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.